He's saying that you are looking at doing things differently because what's been going on for you, you've had a big wake-up call to say, hey, why am I doing this? Why am I doing it this way? I want my life to be different. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. He's certainly very much aware of that. And he's saying, you're coming to some really good decisions, but you still need to just sit and give it a little bit more thought. Because there's a number of different directions that you could go in at this moment. But there's one or two that are really not going to work really well for you. So it's going to be really important that you just be still and give it a little bit more thought. Now he's saying you're very good with people. You're a very good people person. You've got great skills. You connect to people really well. But you're also very intuitive. You know what's going on in people's worlds. You already know before they do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so you might like to follow that. And I don't know if you're involved in any counselling work or working with spirit in some way, but there is an avenue here for you to follow. Because once you get further onto that path, then you're going to see a huge difference in your life. Okay. He's also saying that there's changes needed around you in your home. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's important that you do that because our homes have great effect on our energy. And if we don't feel comfortable, then life doesn't seem to work as well for us either. He's also saying you've got a little bit of clearing out to do. There's been a bit of a build-up over the time. So it's going to be really important for you to just take your time, go through it, because it is a little bit to look at. Mm -hmm. And just take it easy and don't be too hard on yourself, because he's saying you do that from time to time, don't you? Yeah, okay. I've got a dog showing up here as well, too. Um, not very good with dog breeds, <laughs> so let's see how we go. Looks like it's, it's whitish in colour, it's got brown patches on it, didn't have very long fur, just the shortish fur, so it's got quite a, if I feel like I'm touching its coat, it's quite a hard feel to it. Do you understand this dog, please? No, okay, all right. Still got to go with it. So if it's not your dog, it would have been someone around you or someone really close to you because it's coming through with you right now. Okay. Now, he also wants to let you know that you are safe and that you are protected because there is a worry and an anxiety around you at the moment. Do you understand that? Yes. Yeah. I was feeling it when I was sitting down before and wondering where it was coming from. When we trust that we have angels with us, when we trust our loved ones and guides and helpers are with us, we are always safe. If, however, there will be a situation where we won't be, they will give us the nudge. So they always keep us safe. And he wants to get you to just accept that and take that on board and let all the worry go. You're worrying about a few other people around you at the moment too. And he's saying worry is an energy that you're actually putting around them. Your best gift to your loved ones and your friends is to trust that angels are watching over them and that angels travel with them wherever they go. Um, I work with angels a lot, as well as loved ones, and it's been proved to me many times over, all right? So can I leave that with you? Thank you, and all the best. Okay. I do see a different direction coming up for you. Thank you. All right, now let's find out where we are going to. I need someone who's had a black cat at some stage because I had a cat showing up just before. You can black cat, <laughs> okay, thank you. Can I ask your name please? Karen. Karen, thank you, Karen, okay. I've got a gentleman in spirit, he's telling me that he's your grandfather. Um, he passed his spirit with some sort of a, an illness condition because I'm being shown a hospital bed, I'm being shown a hospital drip. Do you understand this gentleman? No, grandfather's died You don't know how they passed? No. All right, I'll get something else for you to verify this. Okay. I want to go to grandfather on your father's side of the family. I'm getting that he was an, a gentleman who was interested in tinkering in things. And he's saying that this is you because you like to tinker with things. You like to dabble in different things. You like to give different things a go. You're not a person who is content to sit still and just do one thing at a time. Do you understand that? Now, you would be aware of his presence because as he's coming through to me, I'm getting an aroma. It's, I want to say, slightly spicy smell to it. 
So just be aware of that and what went on around you, and that's how you know that it's this particular grandfather with you. Even though you may not have known them so much, they are aware of you, and they like to come and be with you and to share with you. He's also saying he gives you creepy crawly feelings up and down your spine. Do you understand that feeling? It's like a little yeah. shiver. Yes. That's how you know that he's with you. So when you get that feeling, just be still and just talk to him because he wants to respond to you as well. You can ask him any question and you will get answers. Now, I'm saying you're very interested in all of this and you're actually very good at it. And you could be doing more with this. Does that make sense? It does. It does. Okay. He's here to give you a little bit of encouragement. Actually, a lot of encouragement is doing this. <laughs> and he'll be here to help and support you on this. Mm -hmm. Alright? Different, but I'm hearing different. So you're doing something similar, but it's in a different way. You're very good at reading people. Does that make sense? Yes. I love to do that too. I read people's auras. When you have that gift, you can find out exactly what's going on in a person as well. That is a direction he is suggesting that you follow just to do that. Mm -hmm. It can take you in many different directions. He's also saying that the position that you are in now, you've been, um, I've got my time tiles here, but two other people who don't need to know. <laughs> but you've been considering a change. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. He's here to say make that change. It will be your very best in this to do that. Um, there's some limitations around you where you are right now, but in stepping out and doing different, you'll just be able to go for it. And you won't have those limitations, all right? There is something else you need to do first, though. And then they just stop. <laughs> I work quite recently with the spirit. My hands go all over the place. My body does something different. And that's exactly the message. You just have to stop for a while. You've been full on, on the go, non-stop. So he's saying, have a rest. Don't do anything, okay? There are a few other people who are around you at the moment too. They're not going to identify themselves, but you know they're there. You know of their presence, yes. And they're just saying, yes, they're just acknowledging that with you. Okay. Colour is very important for you as well too. So just be aware of the colours that are around you, in your home particularly, in the environment that you work. Because <coughs> it gives you an uplift but it can also bring you down, and you will become more and more aware of that as well, too. Do you understand? Okay. Different direction. I'll leave that with you with a lot of love. Thank you. Now that we've got all of those little bits and pieces out, <coughs> now I get to choose who I can come with now. <laughs> yeah. All right, I was given the words, new year, new beginnings, new opportunities. Um, I want to come to this young lady at the back, please. Can I ask your name? <laughs> Emily, nice to meet you, Emily. I'm being drawn to your feet. Feet are the way we move forward in life. And your feet want to dance. But at the moment, it's like they're a little bit mm, not sure where I want to go. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. I hear the word certainty. Don't move until you have that certainty. Because if you go in this direction, then you go in that direction, you lose energy. And then you get a little bit disheartened because that's what's happened to you in the past. Do you understand that? Yeah. I'm hearing the words, be still, just be still, okay. They are with us all the time to help us, guide us, put us on the right path. And it's about trusting you, because you have a very strong connection to the other side. Okay. You feel it in the centre of your being here. Well, that's not really the centre, sorry, it's higher up. This is where you feel the energy when something is not right in your world. So if someone is making a suggestion to you or you are thinking of going here or you start to do this and you get this feeling, we all get it but in different ways. It's like someone pushing hard here. Do you understand that sensation? That's a very big no for you. Don't do it. Doesn't mean not ever, but in that moment, don't do it. You need to reconsider. Okay. I'm being done some courses. Are you thinking of doing a course? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay. You don't have to try too hard. You're really quite clever, but sometimes you don't. 
give yourself enough acknowledgement as to how well you can actually do things. And so in going in with that, it makes it a little bit harder for you. So if you go in knowing that you can absolutely do anything and that you will do really well, and I am being shown an outcome, I'm actually a coach and I sometimes coach students in maths as well too. And um, when I had one young girl who scored 90% on her exam, her mother couldn't believe she would ever get that result. It was only because she didn't have enough belief in herself that I'm seeing that with you. A great outcome when you trust you. Okay. I'm being shown that you can wear many different hats. You're very talented, but it's finding the right hat. Okay. So, here's a suggestion. Pretend for a couple of days that you put a particular hat on and see how it feels. Imagine you're that person, imagine you're in that role and see how it will feel. Then take that hat off and try another one. It sounds silly, but it works. Okay, and I've got I've got actually an angel giving this to me for you right now. And I'm being told as Archangel Gabrielle. Gabrielle is the messenger, okay? And Gabrielle is saying that you already help people. Words come out of your mouth and you don't know where they come from. Do you understand that? This is already the angels working through you to give messages to other people. This is very definitely a path that you could follow for you. It would feel really good in here because your heart is telling you right now you are so not in the right place. Yeah. Follow that path. You'll be guided, you'll know it. And you'll also know when the time is right. I've got to give you one more thing. They just say one more. I go, one more what? <laughs> they don't always give it to us in a nice, big, neat, tiny package. We just have to take one step. And that's the message. You take that step, that will show you the next one. Because you're a girl, you want it all. Do you understand that? I'm not going to do it until I know all this. Yeah. No. Take that one step, and they will reveal the next to you. All right? So I'll leave that with you. Thank you. Young girl in the uh, back row, please. Your name? Christine. Christine, nice to meet you, Christine. Questions. I'm hearing questions. You've got lots of questions in your mind. Do you understand that? Yeah. That's really good. And particularly at your very young age. There is so much more to life. So much more. And at your age, in getting on to this understanding that there is more and that we have so many others on the other side who are here to help us is like, it's just absolutely wonderful for you. Keep asking your questions because they will be answered for you. You're wondering how on earth you're going to get to where you want to be. You've got great dreams, I'm being shown that. Do you understand that? I feel like I'm standing on top of a mountain top at the moment and it's like you want to just fly high but you don't know how to get there. You can't quite see, you don't think you're going to make it. Okay. I'm being told here that there are many people from the other side who are here to help you and I'm being told Archangel Michael is with you right now. He's really good. He's very helpful. And he wants you to just sit and spend some time in quiet and outdoors because you're an outdoors girl, you understand that? That's where you get a better connection to the other side. So just sit outside and just call on Archangel Michael to help you. I'm being given the words decisions, decisions, decisions. You find it hard to make decisions. Do you understand that? Thing? Yes. Okay. Ask for help. Help is always there. Okay, for you, if you're going to make a decision that's not going to sit right for you, you'll feel it in the pit of your stomach. Okay. It's like someone's taken a fist and just punched you there. Do you understand this feeling? Yeah, you do. Okay. Now you know what it is, you'll pay attention to it next time, right? Yeah. Because it's a huge message for you. Okay. You are very gifted with your studies, very talented on being given, but you don't always allow it to happen. You think it's not always that cool to be so smart. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay. Because you don't want to be seen. Live your best life. Don't let anybody else tell you to do anything different because I'm being given here that you can just do whatever you want to do. I see you standing up in front of many people and I see you teaching other people. This is something that's not quite in place for you yet, but you are going to get there. All right? 
you've got a lot that you're going to be able to share with the world I'm being told. Okay? I'm being shown a globe of the world and I don't give that to many people. You're also very gifted with your artwork as well, too. Do you draw? Sort of. Sort of? Okay, you're going to find it's going to change because they want to work with you. So when you find as you're holding a pencil it wants to go in that direction and you're trying to go in that, go that way. Just relax your hand on the pencil and make them draw through you. It's such a great thing to be able to have to let them do the work and you just sit back and relax and watch to see what comes onto the page. And it happens to me, so I know this works, all right? Your artwork, if no, that's not where you're heading at the moment, it's going to come through for you and that's the direction that they're going to take you through, all right? Now, I'm being told there's a lady here for you before we go any further. I'm being told this is a grandmother, okay. Um, she passed not that long ago, and she passed fairly quickly. Do you understand this grandmother? Okay, then I've changed people, or I, I know that, so I'll find someone else, but it's time for me to sit down and hand over to Carol. So I'll find out where that grandmother is later, or at the original movies. Thank you.